Hi guys, it's Rohit. Hope you're all doing great and welcome back to the channel and also welcome back to another car review. In today's video, I'll be giving you a walk around review of a 7-seater SUV, the Jeep Meridian. I'll be covering the exteriors, interiors, in your specifications, features and the on-road price. So watch the video until the very end and if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing it and tap on the bell notification to get the latest updates. Alright now this Jeep 7 seater SUV the Meridian is also called as the Commander in the western countries and it is actually based on the second generation Jeep Compass. Dimension wise this Jeep Meridian is longer by 365mm in length and 146mm longer in wheelbase compared to the 5 seater Compass. On the engine front the Jeep Meridian will be offered only with a diesel engine which is actually the same engine that powers the Compass as well. So this Jeep Meridian is powered by a 4 cylinder 2000cc diesel unit which produces 170ps of max power and 350 Nm of peak torque which is paid to a 6 speed manual transmission and a 9 speed automatic transmission as well. Also there is an option for 4x4 which is offered in a top variant limited with a 9 speed automatic transmission. Alright now let's get into the exteriors. Unlike the Jeep Compass the front end of the Meridian has a lot of chrome running all over. As you can see there is a chrome lining underneath the 7 slot grille along with the front camera right at the center for the 360 degree surround view. The headlamp design looks pretty clean with a DRL running on top which also works as a turn indicator so it's a bifunctional unit. Then you've got LED projector headlamps with LED reflectors next to it. Again there are a lot of chrome accents used in the lower bumpers as well. Also it has got front parking sensors and LED fog lamps. So overall the front fascia looks neat and elegant. Especially with the use of chrome accents it looks very premium. Moving up front you get rain sensing wipers followed by a black glossy roof that actually holds a massive panoramic sunroof. The wing mirrors here are electrically adjustable, foldable and have LED turn indicators in them with a camera underneath for the side view. The wheels on this Jeep Meriden happen to be 18 inches with a section of 235 by 55 and I really love the design of these alloys. The wheels are massive when you see it in person which adds to the road presence. Then you've got squared wheel arches and side claddings with flat black finish and with a ground clearance of 214 millimeters which is actually 21.4 centimeters magnifies the SUV appeal. All these four wheels are equipped with disc brakes for a better braking. The D pillar has also been blacked out. You've got roof rails on top with chrome lining followed by a shark fin antenna. Now the rear overhang looks actually nice. I would say it's proportionate to the rest of the body. Moving your way back you've got a roof spoiler on top with a stop lamp followed by a defogger and a wiper on the rear windshield. Again just like the front the chrome elements have also been used on the tailgate with a rear parking camera placed below it. I love the way how the rear taillets have been designed and integrated to give it a neat look. Moving down to the rear bumpers there are chrome accents with reflectors and rear parking sensors. Also there's a rear skid plate which is finished in silver color and the spater has been tucked underneath the chassis. Alright now let's check out the boot. Well actually this Meriden is on PDI which translates to pre-delivery inspection. So it's better I show you the working on another Meridian. So the Jeep Meridian comes with an electrically operated tailgate. If you double press the bottom key on the key fob the tailgate automatically opens. And this is the amount of boot carrying capacity that you are left with if you use all the three rows. In case if you have a 5 member family you can obviously fold down those third row seats which actually gives you 481 liters of boot carrying capacity and if you want to close the boot you can just press the button on this tailgate or else you can just double press the same button on the key fob. It is as simple as that. Now these doors open wide enough easy to get in and out. The door openers are finished in satin chrome and the surrounding accent has been finished in piano black. There's a tweeter next to it and in the lower doors you've got the speaker along with decently sized door pockets for your water bottle. Now what's interesting in this cabin is the use of leather. The side armrest has been leather padded with double stitching and it looks and feels pretty good. You get adjustable headrest with an armrest in the center with two cup holders. Now time to check out what this Jeep Meriden is really meant or made for. Yes the third row seats let's hop into it. There's a latch which enables you to actually tumble down the second row seats. Alright so as you can see my height is about 5 feet 10 inches. And it's pretty cramped here and there's no point of leg room or the knee room forget it. But what you get on this third row are the cup holders on the sides and roof mounted AC vents with blow speed adjustment. So to be honest or simply to put in a sentence this third row seats are strictly for children and that's about it. But there's a lot more to the second row where you'll just find yourself very comfortable as there is ample knee room and leg room also the seat can be reclined. Under thigh support is great. The transmission tunnel in the center is negligible so three people sitting shouldn't be a problem. And just look at the front cabin it looks and feels very upmarket and it has got the best cabin among its rivals. On the convenience note you get rear AC vents, an USB charging port along with a 12 volts power socket, grab rails on either sides with reading lights 
So overall, second row is where you will find yourself very comfortable, relaxing, and when you open the sun blind, the cabin looks much more roomier. The second row seating gets a 10 on 10, and there's no denying it. Now let's check out the front cabin as well. You get keyless entry and go function for both the driver and the co-passenger side as well. Satin chrome door openers with two memory seat functions. Again, just like the rear doors, the side armrests have been leather padded. Coming to the driver side controls, you've got lock and unlock, child lock switch. Power window switches with auto up and down function for the front two windows. ORVM controls with auto fold function. The low portions have big door bins for your water bottles and a speaker next to it. This Jeep Meriden, being a premium car, it comes with an Alpine surround sound system, which sounds really great. And I'll do a separate video on that. Now coming to the seat adjustment, both these seats at the front have electric adjustment along with lumbar support, so you can easily adjust your preferred comfortable driving position. The leather upholstery feels really good. You've got Jeep branding on top. Down there, you've got the pedals with a proper dead pedal next to it. Bonnet latch. Moving up, you've got light controls along with the headlamp leveling adjustment controls. Again, the same leather treatment has also been used on the dashboard as well. You get Jeep's cuff plates on the sides. All right, now this Jeep Compass gets a fully leather wrapped three spoke steering wheel, and the steering column is tilt and telescopic adjustable. Coming to the mounted controls on the left side, you've got buttons to toggle through the instrument cluster and phone switches as well, and on the right, you've got cruise control switches. Before we get into the instrument console, let's talk about the materials used in this cabin. The cabin feels very premium. It's on par with the German manufacturers. The use of soft touch materials on the top of the dash, the satin aluminum finish, the use of brown leather, complementing with piano black surround and a silver finish, looks and feels very solid and premium. It gets a decent size glow box. All right, now let's turn on the ignition. So this Jeep Meriden gets a 10.2 inch all digital instrument cluster. The graphics and the resolution is on point. It shows you a lot of information like the gear indicator, digital speed, temperature. Fuel gauge, trip meter, odometer, music controls, average fuel efficiency. It has also got tire pressure monitoring system, a digital speed tachometer, service battery warnings and indicators, coolant temperature, oil temperature, battery charge. So there's everything you need. Similarly, coming to the infotainment touchscreen system, this is a 10-inch Uconnect infotainment touchscreen system from Jeep. It supports FM, Bluetooth, USB, Android Auto, and Apple CarPlay. If you select the surround view, this is how the display looks. Or rather, the cameras on this car works. You can select different views as you wish. This feature is very useful, especially in tight parking situations. This is how the home page looks. You can add widgets. It has also got inbuilt navigation, or you can just prefer Google Maps if you are an Android user. Also, there are AC controls in the screen itself. You can adjust the blower speed or the individual temperature, and the screen is very responsive and easy to use. Also, there is a dark theme mode. Following that, you have auto on/off switch, traction control off switch, hazard light and park assist switch. Now this Jeep Meriden gets a dual zone automatic climate control system, which means both the passenger and the driver can adjust their individual temperature. Then you've got charging ports. One is a USB C type port, and the other is a USB A type port. There's some space to put your phone or your belongings. Since this is an automatic variant, you get a nine-speed automatic transmission. In case if you opt the manual, you'll be getting a six-speed manual gearbox. On the left corner, on the top, you have been provided with a EPB or an electronic parking brake. Then you've got square-shaped cup holders and a slot to put your phone next to it. The armrest in the center is slidable and has a lot of space inside. Moving on to the top, you've got an IRVM which has auto dimming function, followed by sunroof controls. So when you actually open the blinds or the sunroof itself, the light enters the cabin and makes it much more roomier and spacious. Then you've got individual reading lights and a switch for the electric tailgate. So that's all for the interiors. All right, now let's talk about its safety features and the on-road price. This Jeep Meriden is equipped with multiple best-in-class safety features, which include electronic parking brake, 360-degree view camera, six airbags, tire pressure monitoring system, electronic roll mitigation, traction control system, electronic stability control, and ISO fix child seat mounts. This Jeep Meriden that you're looking at here is in velvet red color. Along with this, you've got another four color options, which include black, white, gray, and metallic green. Finally, coming to the on-road prices. This Jeep Meriden is basically available in two variants, limited and limited option. So the base model limited 4x2 manual transmission costs you around 38 lakhs 18,000 rupees on road, while the limited 4x2 automatic transmission, which I have reviewed right now, will cost you around 40 lakhs 53,000 rupees on road. And if you pick the top model limited option 4x4 automatic transmission, it will cost you around 46 lakhs 90,000 rupees on road. Please note that these on road prices may change based on your location and the state you are in. So for the exact prices, please reach out to your uh, nearest showrooms. So that's all for the review guys. Hope you liked it. If so, make sure you subscribe this channel for more such upcoming videos like this. Thank you so much. Drive safe and have a nice day.